Uh, obviously disappointed, um, yeah, disappointed sort of with my own performance and and with us as a playing group. Um, yeah, it's it's after playing some, well, having three really good quarters of footy last week and and sort of coming to expect probably um, a bit more of that sort of footy and not delivering is is pretty disappointing. When you don't come out to play, like that sort of result will happen and Brisbane. Brisbane were confident. They were, they were up and about, um, and they were just they they were ready. And we we were just a bit reactive. I felt, and um, yeah, and and that sort of result will happen if you if you don't come out to to really match it um, with a side. And and all sides are it's it's a really even comp this year. If you don't come out with an aggressive mindset and and a, a want to play, then that, that sort of result will happen. We know what has to be done, and and it's um it's it's a matter of sort of getting that ingrained in us and and becoming a consistent and hardened hardened playing group. Um, this the performance uh, we put up on the weekend is um, not good enough, and the playing group recognises that and. We're the ones that have to change it ourselves. We we know what we need to do um, to get back to that level against Collingwood, against Hawthorne. We felt that sort of level, so we know we know what it takes to get there. It's a matter of getting that ingrained. How do you, you say you know what you need to do to get back to, to playing that top forty? What do you need to do, and why aren't we seeing it more often? Well, it's a, a lot of little things that that need to be done, um, and. It, it starts from just having an aggressive mindset each week, taking that footy that we want to play to every team. And it's, it doesn't matter if they're the top of the ladder, it doesn't matter if they're bottom of the ladder. It's got to be that same aggressive mentality we've got to take into every game. Yeah, look, it, Craigie's not the one that puts on the boots out there. We, Us as a playing group, we're responsible for that performance. And, um, yeah, he, he's copying a lot of flack that's... Undeserved. Um, I'm not sure why he cops it. You guys might be able to tell me that, but he um, he's doing everything right. He's trying to he's trying to fast track the young group we've got um, into becoming a better foot football club and a better footy team. And um, he's copping a lot of flack for what he's doing, and he's doing some good things with us younger guys. I've got a great relationship with him, and I feel. After two two and a bit years of footy, that I've I've fast tracked um, pretty well, and I'm starting to play some good footy. And I know there's a lot of younger blokes um, who probably wouldn't be playing such good footy um, if it wasn't for Craigie. So you're convinced he's coaching as well as ever, and, and the future's pretty bright for this young group if you stick with Neil. Yeah, I'm convinced. Yeah, um, fans are going to be angry when when we're playing football like that. Um, what they've got to understand is. There's still, oh, it's not even halfway through the year yet, and there's still a lot of learning to be done. And um, fans, we hope they can stick by us and still still make a bit of noise because when the crowd's up and, and we're up playing good footy, it, it's all good. But we really need the fans to stick around when we're hurting a little. A bit of a blow for, for Taylor to the knee. Yeah, it is. It's, he, he had a couple of good, real good weeks in SANFL. Um, he went back there with a a great mentality and Craigie sort of put a bit of heat on him to perform while he went back there and he did exactly that so it was good to see him come back in and um, he'll be a little disappointed and we're a little disappointed for him but he'll um, he'll get himself right and he'll be back later this year. Tippo's, Tippo's been fine. Um, I, yeah, the last few weeks he's, he's really started to step up again and play some, play some great solid footy. Um, the, the delivery to him probably didn't help on the weekend. Uh, through the midfield, I think we had about 10 more inside 50s or something and um, a lot of those kicks were just sort of plonked on his head and not to his advantage. So we've really got to start to take a bit more care with that side of our game and, and kick it to his advantage because we know him one-on-one -on -one, uh, is pretty tough to match up on. How significant does Sunday's game against the Kangaroos become? Yeah, another big game for us now. We, um, we had to respond after that Melbourne performance against the Gold Coast. 
and it sort of took after the first first quarter. After that, we we had a great response. So, yeah, look, we'll we'll be looking to respond again um, and really play some some of that footy we played against Collingwood. Yeah, we'll we'll see what uh what Craig and that want to do with Bernie. I watched him play on the weekend. He was back to sort of vintage Bernie, slotting goals from fifty, and he was back to um back to his best Bernie in the SNFL. So yeah, look, it'll be up to again. I'll leave that to the coaches. If they want to pick him, they will. Um, but yeah, it's good to see him back in form.